Here's all you need to know about the rental market in the month of October 2021. Again, it was another best ever month for us here at Reside. More lets during October 2021 than any preceding October since the company began. So a phenomenal effort by our team and well done to them. Just to give you an idea of the level of demand that we're still receiving from tenants, average letting time during October was three days from launching the property on the market and the average rent we achieved during the month was 101% of the advertised rent. So again, staggering levels of demand from tenants. And just to try and give you a little bit more of an idea, a clear indication of the level of demand we're receiving, I wanted to show you a little bit more detail about the kinds of facts and figures that we're seeing on Rightmove. If you do a simple search for properties to rent right now on Rightmove, and we exclude properties that have already been let, exclude student lets and similar properties, you end up with just 50, mar uh, 50 properties. 50 properties currently on the rental market in all of Bath across the whole city. And if you narrow that down to just properties launched in the last seven days, you get about 15 properties. Now, the reason I do that is because if your property's been on the market for more than seven days in the current market, there's probably something wrong and you should have a conversation with your letting agent about it because there are enough tenants at the moment to snap up every property that goes on the market that is correctly pitched very quickly. So seven properties launched on the market in all of Bath in the last seven days. If you're a landlord and you have a property that could come on the market, do it now. You will let it very quickly and you'll find a good quality of tenant. Now, when I talk about tenant demand, if we drill down to the kind of statistics that we can obtain through the back end of Rightmove, you can see what I'm talking about. Here are examples of the kind of data we can get on two properties that we've recently let in the last, uh, in the last week. So first of all, we've got a one bedroom apartment here, a premium one bedroom apartment that we put on the market at £1,200 per month. Uh, this is right in the centre of town on John Street. So you can see that we launched this on the 2nd of November where the tiny little red flag is and it was let one day later where you've got the uh, vertical line uh, after about 320 views on Rightmove. So that's let it after 24 hours, 320 people clicked through to see that. Staggering levels of demand for that city centre property. A similar example, a two bedroom apartment on Green Park, again fairly central, at a similar rent, 1,200 per month, in fact exactly the same rent. So that was launched on the 29th of October, uh, just before a weekend, um, and it was let on the 1st of November after around 1,150 views on Rightmove. 1,150 views on Rightmove, that's extraordinary. Um, so really when we're talking about tenant demand being through the roof, you can see there two properties go on the market in one week and between them they've got around 1,500 views on Rightmove. Really genuinely, if you're a landlord, bring your property to the market now. If you're with an agent and it's been on the market for more than seven days and you haven't secured a tenant, have that conversation with them because there's no excuse for it in the current market. That's all for this month. I'm sure we will see things continue. Traditionally, we quieten down through November and towards December, but I think that numbers of properties on the market may dwindle, but that demand from tenants will stay the same. And I think that's borne out by the figures I've just shown you. We'll chat more next month. Until then, bye-bye.